Hello, my, oh my goodness, I'm going to shoot. Ugh. Why won't he stop mowing his lawn? Why? It's so annoying. It's way too late for mowing the lawn. Ugh. Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. If you haven't been here before, this is Tinkerbell. Miko, you're gonna come in, in the frame, maybe? <laughs> well, this is Miko. You can't sit right there, sweet girl, come on. But today, instead of the pups, we're gonna be talking about what is behind me. So what is behind me is my compost bin that I just built. It's all built out of broken up pallets. The only things I paid for actually was the hardware that went along with it and some of that is totally optional so this is a really inexpensive project it's gonna make your garden look good and make you some compost which is really fun so i'll go ahead and take you through everything um, how to build the materials you'll need um, i'll put specs on the screen the whole shebang but with the exception of pulling apart the pallets this goes so fast it's a really really quick project and it turns out looking really nice which i'm a fan of so I've got the cut list here and I'm gonna be putting this on my blog as well So if you want this like written down versus in video form, um, you can either pause or pop over to the blog but I've got the lid up top and The base at the bottom and you'll notice in here like sorry There's gross stuff in here, but there is no bottom and you just want to make sure that you leave the base open as you can see the entire outside is filled up with these reclaimed pallet slats and then the reclaimed pallet 2x4s are on the inside. So essentially the box is just a three foot tall, three foot wide, and then two feet deep box. And the cut list, we have eight of the 36 inch ones. Those are all the three foot pieces. And we have four 21 inch ones to make this two feet long because you have to take into the account the thickness of the sides of these and then for the base you're going to need a lot of slats what i did was did about 10 feet of slats but you have to put spaces in between each of them however as you can see some of the slats are way wider than other ones so you don't really know how many you need until you take your pallets apart and for hardware for the base i'm using these brackets so there are four on top and then there are four on the corners on the bottom that are touching the ground but those are super optional if you don't have them you don't want to use them you don't need to and then this guy is the top and once again i'm using more of those braces but on the insides here i have these l brackets so there are four of those so in total you'll need 12 braces and four l brackets if you're doing exactly what i did and then the hinges that you'll see later on in the video. This top, cut list wise, we have two by 18, these guys to make them two feet, and two by 36, and then 36 inches of slats. And this one, you actually do need the 36 inches of slats because there is no space in between. I these. look like a total mess obviously, because I have been working all day. But step one to making a pallet compost bin, at least for me, because I'm not using like the whole pallet. I know a lot of people just screw five pallets together and call it a day, but I want mine to be a little bit more refined looking, still very rustic, but a little less, this is a pallet in my garden. <laughs> um, Safety glasses, super necessary, gloves, and shoes is always a good idea. And then for me, I just use a hammer. I use an old pair of pliers. You can see that these actually have like dips in them. Hello, bug. Um, just, you don't wanna use a brand new pair because the nails are gonna rip them up. And then I have I know they make actual tools for this, but I had an old broken screwdriver that's just like the metal part. And I use that to um, hammer nails out. But essentially what we're gonna do here is just 
rip this bad boy apart and try not to shatter the pieces as we rip apart because I do want my um, compost bin to be about, you know, like yay wide, but two feet, three feet, four feet, whatever you guys want. Um, you just want to keep them as whole as possible. If you can't keep them whole, that's totally fine. I'm going to be using some of the extra pieces um, to make little itty bitty planter boxes. So even if you accidentally rip these, which you will a lot, because even some of the ones that you can keep, the ones that um, you get off whole, because they're pallet wood, see how this is starting to come apart already? You can't use that. So here, I have a lot of wood going on back there because I have been ripping pallets up for a few days. But yes, let's go ahead and rip these babies up. All right, so literally the first thing we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna get my hammer in between the wood and see, sometimes the nails are gonna come out super easy like that. You don't wanna do it too fast because if you do it too fast, the wood is gonna splinter. But just work your way through. Um, most pallets are gonna have some kind of weak spot. Like I noticed this one over here already has some nails out. So just pull those bad boys out. And it's just, every pallet is gonna be so different. So um, literally just rip them apart. And each pallet's gonna be different based on the number of screws and nails. Some have screws, some have these posts are two by fours, sometimes they're this. It literally is just take them apart so you get the wood. So we have the base built. We've got two of the three feet by two of the 21 inches. And because this is gonna be the bottom, I added in these corner supports. Just because this is gonna be hitting the ground, you don't need these. I just like to have things a little extra sturdy. So I'm gonna build one more of these for the top and then we'll start putting on the sides. And for some reason, when I was building in the garage, I did not film me putting the top of the box and the bottom of the box together. So that is this here. Once again, these are just two by fours and I took screws and screwed them flat side to the back corner. So flat side to flat side and we've got the short end this way and the same with the front. Um, that just leaves more space for me. I liked how this was. So literally all I did is put four screws into the top and into the bottom on all four sides. So I am starting to put on the sides and with any compost bin, you need airflow to make sure that everything works, which is why even countertop compost bins have little um, holes at the top. So what I'm doing to make sure all the spaces are the same is just taking the short side of one of these guys, popping it right in between and then just screwing the next one down so it looks nice and even So this is the base finished. We are gonna move on to the lid. So I know I look a little bonkers, but I'm building. So um, 
the measurements on the top are a little bit different just because we're doing fat side to fat side instead of short side to short side. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So essentially we're doing the wide side and meeting up with a wide side instead of over here where we have a short side and a short side. So these are both width versus how narrow they are. And for me, um, I didn't feel like doing pocket screws. So I have two different types of hardware here. I've got these L brackets and then I have these braces. So if you guys know how to do pocket screws and you wanna connect these in a different way, that is totally fine. I was just being lazy and I'd rather do hardware than figure out holes and drilling and all of that. And I wanted this to be quick and easy. So these guys are three feet long, but instead of doing the 21 inches that we did over here, here we're doing 18 inches. And then to create the actual lid here, instead of adding space in between, I just popped these guys right next to each other. And the screws, there are two on each side and they are screwed directly down into those two by fours. So those are looking great. And then once again, these are optional. This has a lip, so you can definitely just pick it up like this, but I wanted to make it look a little extra fun. So I had these handles laying around. This is actually like old copper um, spray paint from when they were on my chicken coop. And then I wanted to make sure that animals can get in. I don't really have an issue with anything, but if I end up moving this, I definitely want to make sure there weren't like foxes or bears. So I just have a little hook and eye that's screwed in here. So as you can see, when I put the hook and eye in, there's a little bit of space in between. And that's because when I want the, the hook to come into the eye, I want to make sure it's really locked shut. So I press down and then press over and you can't get it out. Ta-da! And then this back side is super important. Once again, I already had these from uh, my chicken coop before I upgraded it. So these are the T-strap hinges. Um, you want the T-strap because this top is really heavy. And having something super heavy like that top, you wanna make sure that you have lots of support down here. The support down there, the longer your T-straps are gonna be, the more supported it's gonna feel, which is really nice and it just makes it easier for those hinges to go on the outside. Um, originally, I wanted them to go to the inside, but that just didn't make sense to me. So what I did here is the short side of the hinge is on the two by four that is connected to the top, and the T-straps um, go all the way down these wood bits, and I connected them. You don't. It doesn't really matter as long as you space them out evenly where they're connected. They could be on the outside, they could be on the inside, but I to chose two of my thickest boards to connect them to. So this one's super thick and this one is super thick. But yeah, that is my whole guy done. And I'm super excited. Obviously this took longer than if I just bought wood, but I think it turned out really, really well. I love the look of this in general. And overall, I can't wait to go put this bad boy in the garden. It is very, very heavy, by the way. So this is how the compost bin is tucked away into a corner in my garden. You can see a little sneak peek of the garden over here, but I have a whole garden tour going up tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. We've got lots of content going up. We've got garden stuff, we have pup stuff, lifestyle, the whole shebang. So we hope to see you again soon. Bye. What? Can you say goodbye? <coughs> that was a good goodbye. That was so good. So good. Ah, I don't need French kisses, Fluffy. I don't.